understanding of what godliness is. When you remove the obstructions and let God shine through you. In other words, you remove all of the things that take his place. It's hard to set the Lord before you if you set things before the Lord. In his presence, all things are restored. Your innocence is restored in the presence of God. That which has polluted you and made you feel dirty and made you feel ashamed, that is restored in the presence of Jesus. Religion has frightened them so much. They have put sin up here and God here. Whatever you focus on is what you'll become. You get an eye gaze of glory, you'll start having glory come out of your life. You couldn't believe without him in the first place. It's a work of the spirit. It is not by might. It is not by power. It's not by strength. Human effort availeth nothing. The spirit brings life. The spirit not only brought life to you at salvation, but he brings life to you every day. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. Hey, listen, I don't have to ask for his patience. I thank him for his patience. You see the difference? I'm not begging God to be patient with me. I'm, I'm thanking him for being patient with me. There's a big difference. And if you change the mindset of what you're saying. I had to learn that the Lord was trying to get me to yield to my sufferings. He wanted me to yield to it. And in the yielding, he became so real. In ways that I never knew he could be. What is the great temptation? but to deny him, to look away. And in this season, we have to be crucified with him. We have to literally say, take it all, consume me with fire, burn off everything that doesn't look like you, sound like you, feel like you. I give you every idol, every other lover, all of the stuff you can have it. You and I were not just created to survive like a lot of people are just going through the motions of survival mode. But listen to me, you weren't created to survive. You and I were created to thrive. 